Sup guys. So over the years, over the decades, and I'm sure this applies to many of you guys, I've gone through phases. And one of these phases of mine consists of cable creation. I've made countless number of custom cables, not just audio. I've also delved into headphone modding. This is a modded pair of DT990 Pros by Buyer Dynamic. I've also modded my pair of DT880 Pros. That's the black edition. I believe that's a limited run. Also modded a pair of KPH30Is. Multiple pairs. But this is the beige one. As you can see, there are MMCX connectors on the ends. So I'm just gonna focus on a couple things. One of them being this custom cable and my DT990 Pros. Originally, when you get the DT990 Pros, you're gonna get a permanently attached cable coming off the left ear cup and it's wired as single-ended if you look up here there is a wire coming out of the left ear cup which runs through the headband and goes into the right ear cup and there are solder pads on the left driver that continue the signal so that it can be sent to both ear cups via that one entry point I've since removed that permanently attached cable and installed mini XLR jacks. And you really only need two pins, two conductors for each driver, but I'm using four pin mini XLR. Let's see if I can get that focus. Yeah, four pins. You could use three pin, I don't know if there are two pin mini XLRs. But I've used a four pin simply because that's all I had lying around. And this is the cable I made for it. I can't remember which pinout I've used for the ear cups, but I know for a fact that this cable works with that headphone. I've labeled left and right with heat shrink. So there is an additional piece of red heat shrink for the right ear cup. Four pin mini XLR jacks on the headphone cups. Connect to these guys. And I know there are smaller boots that you can use for the Y split on the cable, but I'm actually using a uh, something meant for speaker wire. Very heavy duty, overkill, but I like the look of it. I think it's made out of copper or brass. So one for left, one for right. They converge in here to a four conductor cable. So balance headphones, each cup gets its own ground. And because this is meant for speaker wire, uh, it's actually overly large for this kind of cable. And what I've done is I put a ton of uh, vinyl tape around this junction point where everything's soldered up together to basically thicken up the cable so that this fits better, so that there isn't such a large gap between the this barrel and this cable. And then what I've done is I've used more heat shrink, a uh, larger piece, a mid-sized piece, and a smaller piece, all overlapping one another. So it does, you can actually see this gradual reduction in size down to the cable. I just think it looks better. And then all that 
terminates into 4-pin XLR full-size. Took me about three quarters of a day getting all the measurements right, doing all the soldering. But it's worth it. Something I made. Modified DT990 Pros. Custom cable. Wanted to mention as well that these wires entering and exiting the ear cups even though they're not used for anything after the mod i just left them there for design reasons just think that they look better and also soldering to these mini xlr connectors is a bitch if you don't have steady hands soldering to these guys is going to be an adventure <laughs> 